This is massive. If fully realized, might make it possible for humans to travel to far-off stars and planets in a matter of months, weeks or days, as opposed to the current rate thousands of years recorded for interstellar travels. Recent scientific research has brought the possibility of a warp drive akin to that of Star Trek closer to reality. We are talking about a technology that is as fast or even faster than the speed of light. But the big question is, is it really possible to achieve this great milestone? And how soon are we expecting the realization of this idea? Well, I guess we'll find out quite some interesting updates in today's video. So stick around as we bring you the current position of this ongoing research and what it holds for the future of space travel. Made popular by the television show Star Trek, warp drives are hypothetical engines that could propel vehicles through space at speeds that are presently unthinkable possibly even faster than the speed of light. In science fiction, spaceships can travel at such speeds because the space in front of them is compressed. They pass through, and then the space behind them is expanded back to its original state. The current theory states that real-world warp drive construction is not feasible. Yet if the team's work on this new endeavor proves successful, existing theories might need to be modified. This work expands upon the research of Miguel Alcubierre, a professor at the National University of Mexico's Institute of Nuclear Sciences. In a paper, he used physics to explain the possible operation of a warp drive. Sadly, the paper called for negative energy, which is non-existent. Alcubierre's model for the possible operation of a warp drive was published in 1994 by. Warp speed requires energy that is not currently available which is the main reason it is most likely unachievable at this time. Einstein proved that c 2 which means energy and mass are interchangeable. That means the object would need to have negative mass and consequently negative energy in order to travel faster than the speed of light. Two things that, to our knowledge, do not exist. According to quantum theory, negative energy is a concept that can describe an energy state that is smaller than zero and requires negative mass. Gravity may turn into an opposing force for negative masses since positive masses are attracted to one another. Furthermore, producing negative mass or energy would require massive quantities in order to propel a spacecraft, even in the unlikely event that such a feat were possible. Alcubierre claims that to move an ordinary airplane at just the speed of light, not at least faster, 60 times the mass of Jupiter must be converted into negative energy. As you may know, that is not very realistic. To get to Proxima Centauri, the nearest star, it would still take four years even with that. The concept of negative energy density is highly speculative and problematic in the context of the current understanding of physics it appears that there can be no significant negative energy density due to the laws of thermodynamics and general relativity's energy conditions. Researchers in applied physics have discovered a novel way that warp technology might one day be feasible in this new study. In accordance with relativity, the group proposed the idea of a constant velocity subluminal warp drive, theory of relativity. There are two components to Albert Einstein's theory of relativity, First proposed in 1905, the special theory of relativity addresses the uniform motion of objects traveling at the speed of light. Einstein extended these concepts to accelerating bodies 10 years later. General relativity holds that time is inextricably linked to the three familiar spatial dimensions of up, down, left, right and front back. This space-time is deformed by every mass. Albert Einstein made the incredible discovery that we inhabit a four-dimensional space-time. Time in space is dynamic. It is distorted by large objects, just like a tablecloth. Only the speed limited by light can be reached by anything traveling across the tablecloth, or through space-time. Conversely, the universe itself exhibits deformation at any speed, as the tablecloth itself can in certain circumstances. Using a sophisticated fusion of conventional and new gravitational techniques, the team's groundbreaking theoretical model creates a warp bubble that can transport objects at high speeds while adhering to accepted physics, doing away with the need for exotic energy. With the help of this solution, objects can be transported at high but subluminal speeds without requiring unusual energy sources, meaning that space travel is possible at speeds slightly slower than light. 
The first ever solution to this problem is to engineer warp drive spacetime so that it gravitates like regular matter. Spacetime would be curved around the spaceship to shorten distances, forming a bubble of flat spacetime in the process. This is how the warp drive would function. Either a ring with negative energy density or negative mass, a hypothetical form of matter, would be necessary for the warp drive to function. Since negative mass has never been observed, the only possibility left to physicists is negative energy. A massive amount of mass would be needed for a warp drive to produce an imbalance between particles and antiparticles in order to produce negative energy. An imbalance would result, for instance, if an electron and an anti-electron were to appear close to the warp drive. A particle would become trapped due to the mass. The energy density is negative as a result of this imbalance. This negative energy would be used by the warp drive to form the space-time bubble. However, a warp drive would require a large amount of matter in order to produce enough negative energy. Alcubier calculated that the mass of the entire visible universe would be needed for a warp drive with a bubble of 100 meters. The technology's engine, according to the researchers, would be a shift vector distribution with a design resembling that of Alcubierre combined with a shell composed of Eschikos table matter. They also imply that speeds close to the speed of light might be possible with such an engine. It is also noted that the current state of technology makes it extremely difficult to build an engine of that kind, so even if it were possible, it would be a very long time before one was created. In order to bring this once fantastical dream to reality, the applied physics team is now concentrating on addressing these obstacles while they continue to improve their models and work together across disciplines and institutions. Warp drives are a fascinating idea that excites us more than ever as we approach the dawn of a new era in space exploration. We are getting closer to the stars and the limitless opportunities that lie ahead of us in the vastness of the cosmos with every new finding and advancement. The Advanced Propulsion Laboratory, APL, is at the forefront of warp drive research and operates within the context of applied physics. APL is actively looking for like-minded people to work with in this cutting-edge field through the Warp Grant program in Applied Physics. The most recent development in warp drive technology represents a critical turning point in our pursuit of travel faster than the speed of light. Instead of requiring exotic matter, as required by earlier theories, scientists have proposed new models that rely on positive sources. These models, in particular, the constant velocity subluminal warp drive, provide a viable route forward within the limits of current knowledge of physics and are consistent with Einstein's theory of relativity. We can only speculate about the amazing discoveries and experiences the cosmos will provide us as humanity embarks on its quest for faster than light travel, maybe with the aid of warp drives. The fact that these fascinating advances are mathematical models must be emphasized. In my opinion, models are not reliable enough until we have experimental evidence. However, the science behind warp drives is becoming clearer. I love science fiction, so I applaud all this creative thinking. Things are only impossible until they are not, in the words of Captain Picard. This is where we draw the curtain on today's episode. Thank you for joining us in exploring these cutting-edge developments. If you found this video informative, please like, share, subscribe and hit the bell icon for more updates on the latest in science and technology. Let us know in the comment section what destination you would dream of visiting if war drives became a reality. Thank you.